Today's home workout with your qualified trainer, Lucy Windham Reid, is a 15 minute workout that's designed to help reduce high blood pressure, which we also refer to as hypertension. It's a super effective, safe workout. 15 minutes, all the moves are standing, no equipment. We're gonna do a gradual warm up, then we're gonna do the workout and then a cool down. So if you're ready to start taking control of your health, let's get started. So for the first part, we're just going to simply start off with doing a march. So let's get started. Just doing a light march. And this is part of two minutes where we're going to be doing a warm up. This is about simply preparing your body for the workout ahead. This is going to slowly help to increase your heart rate. And it's also going to warm up your body. And we're going to mobilize through your joints as well. Now just add me this little heel dig and just a little bend through the elbows at the same time. So this here just means we're really mobilizing through your ankle joint, your knee joint, as well as the elbow joint. Keeping that going, that's good. And now this time, just give me a very gentle little knee lift. This is working a little bit more through your hips. And just give me that slight little tap and make sure we're keeping that upper body nice and straight. So this is a really light cardio, as said, part of your warm up. So what we're gonna do now, let's repeat, but we're gonna make the moves a little bit more intense. So just march a little bit harder, a little bit faster. This is just gonna increase your heart rate slightly. Keep landing softly. That's good. And it's always important that we warm up before every workout. So this time now, give me those heel digs, but if you can do a double arm. So again here, it's a little bit more of an increased intensity. So it's just the heel coming in front. So we're mobilizing a little bit more now through your shoulder joints and you should be feeling a little bit warmer. And now what we're gonna do is let's do a knee lift and this time just push both your arms in front. Keeping that going, that's good. Just getting your body ready for the workout ahead. Knee comes up, upper body is straight and well done. So we're now gonna get into your workout. So for this, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off the first move, just follow along, is just give me a side step. So we're just gonna step from one side to the other, add in the arms. Now you can see on the left, we've got a bar with an arrow that represents approximately 45 seconds. That's how long we're gonna do this move for. So let's just keep going. And then we get a little bit of recovery where we can get our breath back and then you can preview the next move. So let's just keep going from one side to the other. And you can also see we've got the timer there on the right, which represents the whole workout, including warm up workout and cool down. Just keep going from one side to the other. That's good. So it's just that lateral side step. All right, well done. So now we've reached that. Just march it out, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. So this is where we get your heart rate back down a little bit. Now you can see the next move coming up. We're gonna do a hamstring curl and then a pull back with the arms. So let's get ready. And again here, what we're gonna be doing is this for 45 seconds. So it's that knee bend aiming to just curl through that leg, pull the arms back. So all these moves are really good because they're low impact, but they're still gonna be enough of a good cardio that's really gonna to help to reduce high blood pressure. It's gonna also help reduce the bad cholesterol as well, and also make your heart nice and strong. So let's just keep going. So it's that little bend through the knees, squeeze back through the arms, all the way until that arrow meets the top on that bar on the left. Keeping that going. That's good, all right, well done. So what we're gonna do now, just march it out. This is your time to get a little bit of recovery, deep breath in, deep breath out, it's a very light march. And while we're doing that, we'll have a little preview of your next move coming up. So this time now, it's similar to the move we did at the beginning, but instead of doing one side step, we're just gonna do two side steps. So let's get ready, take it over for two, 
and travel it back. So it's just that lateral move. And when you're ready, just add in some arms. If you find it too complicated with the arms, you can just keep them down by your side. Just do what feels comfortable, traveling that from one side to the other. And just think what you're doing right now is this is self-care. This is you taking control of your heart health and your general health, your physical health, making you fitter and stronger. That's good. Let's just keep going right till we reach the end of the arrow on there, doing that 45 seconds of this move. All right, well done. Okay, so... Let's get ready now, just bring that back to that light march for me. Deep breath in, deep breath out. So this is a little bit of the interval training. This is your recovery time. So you can see the next move coming up here. We're just gonna tap one foot out to the side and take the arm across. So when you're ready, let's get ready to do that move. Tap it out, reach it across, nice control. And all these moves are low impact, but they're also really good because we're working lots of different joints or working lots of muscles. So this is great for your general health as well. Keeping that going, really make those moves nice and dynamic, reaching that across. So we're over halfway on this one. Keep that focused and just keep thinking, this is about you investing in your future health. All right, that's good. Put power behind each of those punches. Reach across and wide. All right, well done. All right, just march it out again. So this gives you a nice opportunity to take a deep breath in, deep breath out. So you can see the next move coming up. This time, again, we're gonna do another lateral one, but we're gonna do three side steps. So let's get ready, take it one, two and three and then travel it straight back. And when you're ready, add in those arms. So it's a really lovely routine today. And we're just gonna keep going and you can see there, you've got your timer um, clock on the right, that tells you and that includes your cool down stretch as well. And we can all find 15 minutes in a day to look after our health. That's good, keeping that going one side to the other. And the benefit with this move is we're working laterally and we're also there because we're adding in the arms, it's what we call a multi-compound move. So working lots of joints. And because we're working body weight, it's really safe. And keeping that going. Well done, all right. So just take that back to a march for me and take deep breath in, deep breath out and we'll have a look at the next move. So for the next one, we're just gonna be doing knee lifts and taking both your arms over to the knee. So it's a little bit of a twist through the upper body as well. So a tiny little rotation, try and take those knees up nice and high, take the arms over and focus on keeping your upper body nice and straight. This gives you a great opportunity to really work your core, strengthen through your core at the same time. So you keep your belly button tight to your spine body is straight that's good keeping that going keeping that focused keeping nice and tall through the upper body doing really well let's keep going till we reach the top on there and then we'll take that straight back once we've reached top to that march and just march it out now just release the arms take a deep breath in deep breath out and then we'll have a look at the next move. So what we're gonna do for the next one, this time we're doing your side steps, but just two side steps. So let's get ready and travel that one and two, and then add in the arms when you're ready. So this is actually part of a challenge that I've done, which is designed to help lower blood pressure. And I've created this free training book. You don't have to pay for it. I don't need your email, it's completely free. It also gives you guidance on other lifestyle factors that will help to reduce high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Um, so you can have a go, follow this. It's got different workouts, really good advice. And um, my challenge for you is to make sure that you have a healthy blood pressure reading. All right, that's good. So let's just keep going and do let me know in the comments down below how you get on. And one side to the other, that's good. Right to the end. All right, and let's bring that straight back to a march for me. Land nice and softly. 
So next move coming up is a really lovely one. We call this a skater's lunge. So we're just gonna step from one side to the other, reach over with your arms and reach across. Nice move. So you can see that timer. We've got the cool down takes about two and a half minutes. So we haven't got long left with the cardio. So just keep going, keep focused. And one of the reasons I wanted to do this challenge is there's something estimated by the World Health Organization, 1.6 billion people across the world have high blood pressure. This is why as a trainer, I thought I'm gonna see what I can do to help reduce that number. Because exercise is one of the best ways. So just reach across, keep going one side to the other till we reach the top of that timer bar. All right, that's good. So we're now just gonna bring it straight back, just march out, just get your breath back, deep breath in, deep breath out, and then let's just have a look at your next move coming up. So this time we're just gonna go straight back to doing that lateral side step and just taking it one side step. So you step it to one side and back and give me a little knee bend as well, as well as that elbow bend. All right, that's good. Just keeping that going. So this is still part of the workout. We've got one more move after this and then we're gonna take it to a really lovely cool down and stretch. Keeping that focused and just think every time you're getting stronger, you're getting fitter. And we're working on the most important muscle of all, which I always say is your heart. And that's where having a strong heart really helps with having healthy blood pressure. And just take it to that lateral step. That's good. All right, well done. Nearly at the top there on that one. So just bring it back again. Nice march, deep breath in, deep breath out. Just get your breath back. And let's have a look at the last move coming up. So this one, we're gonna step forwards and take it to a knee lift. So it's two steps forward, knee lift, and just alternate from one leg to the other. So in your own time, step forwards and give me a knee raise. Step back and knee raise. Keeping that going. So really drive that knee up. This is the last part of the cardio today. So let's just keep focused. And you should be super proud of yourself that you've done this workout. So let's just keep going right to the end, kick that up. And my job as a trainer, I want to make workouts obviously effective, but I want to make them fun. They don't always have to be about running, burpees. We can get just as fit doing a low impact. All right, that's good. Just keep going all the way to the end good just drive that knee up power that through and well done that's good so what I want you to do now is we're going to do your cool down so just march it out for me let's slowly start to bring your heart rate back down so just a gentle march but this is going to be at a much lighter intensity now we don't want to just all of a sudden stop it's important we just reduce that heart rate so just march it out land nice and softly again you can take a few deep breaths in deep breaths out and now just give me these little arm swings just tap that foot in front that's good and again we're just really slowing that pace down so we then come to a gradual halt so let's just keep going and just loosen out those muscles shaking out the arms and just tapping that foot in front. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start doing some stretches. So just follow along and stretches are really important. So step one foot back, that leg in front, the hands are on that bent leg in front. Feel that stretch through the calf muscle known as your gastrocnemius on that leg behind. And it's really important, especially for our arteries that we really stretch as well. We wanna make our body nice and flexible. Just take that other leg behind. And this also prevents any injuries. It helps realign your body after training. And now we're gonna go for doing a hamstring stretch. So take one leg in front, the heel is up, your hands are on your bent leg, and just feel that through the back of the upper thigh. Definitely come and find me on social media as well. I've shared the links in this video and just let me know how you get on with your training. Take that to the opposite leg. Again, hands always on the bent leg. This is stretching your hamstring, back of your upper thigh. 
and I've been teaching for over 25 years. It's always been my mission and passion to teach about fitness. We all benefit from fitness. Now, for this quad stretch, if you find that too hard to do, I am, oh, there she did make an appearance, Princess Sultana. I am showing you an alternative on the top left. And you really push the hips forwards. That's how you feel that in the hip flexor. Then take that to the other leg. And if you have enjoyed this workout or you like this challenge, please do share it as well. All right, let's now take those arms in front, but really have a look at the training program, learn about reading food labels, learn about how to cut back on sodium, as well as just reducing processed foods. And remember, this is about a whole lifestyle. And as your qualified online trainer, I'm here always to motivate you, help keep you on track to simply feeling your best, because that's what it's all about. So well done, you did it. There is your high five. And just remember the most important thing we should all be doing is taking control of our health. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.